You don't look like you have PTSD. I don't know what PTSD looks like to you, but you can't see it. Focus on my face. Hi. Hi. Oh. Are you gonna be in the video? Thanks for the kiss. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be. Hey, <laughs> get away from the camera. We're gonna be reacting to some comments on my videos. Um, the comment section on my videos aren't the nicest so it's definitely gonna be fun to react to them oh i have my phone here um and i actually have the let me start screen recording so i actually have the youtube studio app on my phone um and so i'm just gonna go on there and my screen is actually dirty so i'm just gonna wipe that off okay so <laughs> We are just gonna start reacting to comments. Okay, my camera keeps dying and it's literally making me so mad. Oh my god, we're so zoomed in. Like, this is good. Okay, so somebody <laughs> said on my fake service dog video, she has a service dog for PTSD. That's a stupid reason to have a service dog. Well, I mean, you can say that, but PTSD is very uh, tough. Uh, very tough. There's people that come back from the war that have PTSD that need service animals. Um, there's people that just went through really traumatic things that need service animals. So, um, that's cool, I guess. And my ESA owner chases us around Walmart video again. Somebody said, why does she need a scooter? Is her mental illness preventing her from walking? What the fuck? Um, <laughs> if you've listened in that video, I said that I hurt my foot. Um, and actually a day after I filmed that video, I went to the hospital for it, and uh, my foot was sprained, so I got a boot, and uh, I've been wearing a boot for about a week and a half now, so. Sprained my foot, that's why I was using the scooter. I explained that in the video. I didn't say that I sprained my foot, because um, I didn't know what I did to it yet, but it was very painful and it was hard to walk, so. Yeah, but I have a boot. If you check out my videos on Instagram, you can see me walking in a boot, uh, so yeah. Somebody said in my fake service dog attacks real service dog video, your dog didn't bump you with her nose. Quit lying, Jesus. Um, my dog is trained to do many different alerts and um, nudging is one of them. So that's when she will, come here Dakota, come here. Oh. Ready, nudge. No, not with your paw. Nudge, yep, nose. Nudge, yep, nose. Nudge, yep, nose. Nudge. There you go. So, um, Dakota is trained to nudge with her nose and also lick me. So, my dog didn't nudge me. Uh, you can see in the video I'm starting to panic, and that's when you can see Dakota go and nudge me with her nose. Needs because she's a good girl. I'm literally shaking. She did so good with that though. All right, let's go. So that's a type of alert. Um, yeah, you can see in the video I didn't tell her to nudge me, I just had my hand down, so it was clearly her alerting. Hi, baby. You're a little girl. Do you want to go over there? Go. Come in. Wow. <laughs> okay, another comment on the ESA video. That there's a big difference between a service dog and an emotional support dog. You seem to think that you are entitled to a chair and to train your dog in public. True service dogs are trained before you get them. Before you comment and try to act smart, you should definitely look at the law. Um, the ADA states that you can train your own dog, um, which is what I did. I owner trained, and I live in Florida, where, which means I'm allowed to train my dog in public. Um, in the description of all of my videos, there's Florida laws. So if you guys are ever curious, like, oh, she's breaking the law. Nope, I got myself covered. Just look at the Florida laws down in the description. It's not true. There are professional professionally trained dogs that come from organizations, but sometimes those dogs aren't even well trained. So it really depends on where you go, but just because a dog comes from a facility doesn't mean that they're 
trained better. It just means that they were trained along with a bunch of other puppies by a certified trainer. That's all it means. We're moving on. <laughs> okay, so this video, I mean this comment, was on my fake service dogs everywhere, one tigress video. Um, somebody said, I don't even think this dog is a real service dog. This kid needs some manners. How dare she make fun of a child by calling it a fake service dog. <laughs> so, because I made a fake service dog joke because a kid was on a leash, I don't deserve a service dog or I don't need a service dog. It's basically what they're saying. Um, I think that's hilarious. I think this person doesn't know how to take jokes. <laughs> Somebody else put this comment on the ESA owner chases around Walmart. Back onto the cart things. The cart thing. People were so heated that I was using one of the one of the like automatic carts. Um, <laughs> the same person that left that the last comment said, "So her PTSD stops her from getting her own stuff on the rack. This girl is entitled to the core. You were there picking up your meds. The braces are right there in the pharmacy section. Get one and be done." We actually looked for braces there, and none of them were the right thing. I was literally like, I could not walk that far like when my foot was in that much pain um but okay whatever we left this comment on my fake service dog attacks real service dog video you're a fucking snowflake grow up if you can't handle seeing another dog in public stay home that wasn't the point of that <laughs> okay somebody uh, again on the fake service dog video said, you guys did not handle this like adults at all. A little high-pitched snob with two Bs voice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, when, like, we get it. He wasn't a real service dog. He ran up to say hello. Like, and didn't bark until you gave it shit vibes just saying waits to get deleted. I don't delete hate comments on my videos unless they're like going to offend other people. Like, if you're saying like, kill yourself, kill yourself, I'm probably gonna delete it. But just random comments like this, I'm not gonna delete them because number one, they get my video more clout. So if you wanna hate or dislike my videos, go right ahead, it just promotes it, so. <laughs> but I mean, this guy, okay. Let me address something. We were in this mall, right? And we had seen this guy walk by before and we were like, oh, that dog is clearly not a service dog. Um, the leash was attached to the vest and the guy was holding it so tight. You can see it in so many clips. The guy was just holding the dog by the vest, just like basically the vest was like way off the dog. So clearly this dog was not trained to even walk next to the guy. Um, but the main issue was this dog ran away from his handler. The person that it's supposed to be 100% focused on and paying attention to and helping it ran away from. Dogs in training don't even really do this. If your dog's gonna run away from you in public, I don't think that dog is ready enough to be in a mall, a very busy area, if that's what your dog is gonna do. Like, if I let Dakota off leash, she's gonna be staying with me, she's gonna be focused on me, she's not gonna be doing anything. Since malls are very busy places, it's not, it's not ideal to bring a dog that you have not trained yet into a very busy place because it's super, super stressful, and stuff like that happens. I put myself in between Dakota and this dog and Ava came up behind me and put herself in between this dog. And you could see this dog trying to get around us as Dakota. So whether this dog was friendly or not, it's still not okay for this dog in a service dog vest to come running towards us, scaring the crap out of me. Because when, this, when you see a dog running at you, you don't have time to react, right? In my brain, all I thought was this dog is going to get my dog. So you can imagine how worked up I am, especially somebody who's been attacked by dogs and has PTSD. When I saw this dog running at me, my first thought was, it's gonna fuck up everything that I trained my dog to do. It's gonna fuck up everything. It's gonna ruin my dog, it's gonna kill my dog, it's gonna hurt my dog, it's gonna do this. My brain is wired that way. My brain is wired to think the worst and to panic. So, some people understood this, some people didn't understand this whatever um but people were like oh like you were too worked up like sure i even explained in the video why i was so worked up it's because i have ptsd so whatever whatever just whatever whatever it's just at the end of the day that dog what it, what it did was just not okay that was the point of the video okay okay somebody said so basically you're mad because you were walking your dog in a public mall not purchasing anything and just showing off and stirring drama with nothing to do with the dog that accidentally got loose from his owner and tried to play with yours. The dog only growled because you and your ugly ass little sister's reaction was to pull on your dog's leash creating tension between both dogs. It's almost as if y'all were following that man hoping for this to happen. 
and now blowing up this minimal situation to make YouTube content. How annoying. You don't even look like you have PTSD. You probably are just saying that so you can walk around with your dog to get anywhere for attention. You have no right to excuse anybody from having a fake service animal. Anybody, and I mean anybody, can have a service animal. You just have to pay $60. You are so annoying training your dog in a public mall instead of paying a professional. <laughs> There are so many things wrong with this comment. First off, I never pulled on my dog's leash. I 100%, you can literally see it in the video, took my dog and put her behind me so that I was in front. Because naturally service dogs are on the side of you. Well, when this dog was coming straight for us, I took my hand, which had the leash in, and I pulled her behind me. Um, it was just quick. There was no time for me to be like, Dakota, get behind me. Um, I had to whip her around so then I was in front, so then I was ready to catch this dog so that it could not bite her or whatever because that was my first thing was this dog's gonna bite my dog i don't know if this dog's gonna bite my dog i don't know if this dog's even aggressive at this point but this dog is clearly i'm gonna explain to you guys the number one thing that scared me was this dog wasn't worried about anything but dakota and you can see it in the video you can see it in person i saw this this dog's eyes were locked on dakota so yes dogs will be dogs but this dog was not friendly and anybody that says that clearly doesn't understand dog behavior just because a dog is wagging its tail does not mean that it's friendly and I'm gonna insert a clip here talking about how dogs wagging their tails does not necessarily mean that it's friendly okay okay and I'd probably put him at a, down at a two or a three but Tane here you can see his energy level is much more what I'd say is a seven or almost an eight eight out of ten his tail is upright he's stiff and strong and he's pulling towards my dogs not really what you're looking for so when a dog's feeling like this, confident, strong, and almost looking for a bit of trouble and sort of wanting to man up, the best thing to do is give them some time. Just move them away. They're not ready yet. Are you kidding me? No, like no. Act human, okay? Maybe take control of your dog. Are you serious? Get that Maybe take control of your dog. Seriously. Um, just because the dog's wagging its tail doesn't mean it's friendly. Its eyes were locked on Dakota, and that's pretty dangerous right there. A dog being hyper-focused on another dog is not a good situation at all. Um, so immediately in my brain, because I do know a little bit of dog behavior, I'm not going to say I'm an expert, I don't know everything, but from having tons of dogs throughout my whole life, I do understand a lot more than I think other people understand. Um, and this was not a safe situation, so... Any dog running up to you, you don't know this dog, you don't know if it has its shots, you don't know anything. So this dog running up was so scary. So anyways, I did pull her behind me and I got ready to catch this dog just to block it away from Dakota. Because the number one thing on my brain is it's not going to get at my dog. Dakota is my baby, Dakota is my lifeline, Dakota is my best friend, and I'll be damned if I let anything happen to her. You don't look like you have PTSD. I don't know what PTSD looks like to you, but... It's a mental illness, you can't see it. So I don't know what looking like PTSD means at all. And paying $60 doesn't mean anything. Registering, paying $60 online does not make your dog a service dog at all, but okay. Okay, so my camera's dying. That's the end of the video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys want me to do this again. I will definitely do this again. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!